as well squeeze it out. I am quite clearly not enjoying this at all. I think I've been wearing the pants that I've got on right now for over 24 hours. <laughs> Hello. This feels really unnatural, I suppose, in filming this. Um, I am just having a bad day, actually. I'm having a shit day. I tried to take a day to relax. I was like, oh, just give yourself a day in bed because you're exhausted, you're burnt out. And I've done that and I feel worse. I feel like my ADHD mind just like cannot relax. Like I had to play Sims to relax. Like I couldn't watch something so my brain would be going around being like, you need to do something, you need to be doing something. And then I looked at my phone and I was like, fuck, it's 4 p.m. I've just been festering in bed. I haven't got on with anything. I haven't even cleaned my teeth yet. Sorry, this is so negative, but I just wanted to show you the reality sometimes of having ADHD and trying to take some time to relax because in my brain it all goes again from Monday like we're revving back up but I need to take some time to chill isn't it funny that like when I tell my brain this is the time to chill my brain's like we're not doing that I read this thing somewhere and it was like I always beat myself up and think that I'm lazy and someone said like lazy people enjoy their time relaxing and I'm like yeah I, I am quite clearly not enjoying this at all but I just thought I need to get out of this rut hopefully by the end of this video I'm gonna not be on the brink of tears and this is gonna be nicer to watch basically I've decided the day can start at any time it doesn't matter that it's 5 p.m that my Saturday is finally starting you know at least it's starting so I'm gonna clean my teeth and then we're gonna have a shower and then we're gonna do some skincare and then we're gonna tidy and then I'm just gonna get on with the something that will hopefully then make me feel productive. I don't know whether to go for a run, but I find actually for me, like if I'm already anxious and I try and run, it just makes me feel worse. Sometimes you've just got to accept your losses. This bathroom is horrible by the way. I think it as much as you do. Like, why is there a mirror there? Do you ever get it where there's a cry, like, within you that has to come out, but you can't seem to get it out and it feels worse? Like, it feels like the equivalent to, like, needing to sneeze. Like, I need to cry, but I can't seem to get it out. I know that I'll be able to get on with more once it's come out. I think just looking at myself in this viewfinder could make me cry. No, sorry. I don't mean that. Most of the time, I absolutely love being me. Maybe it's because my period's late. And now I'm not with child. I don't want to laugh, I want to cry. Ooh, I just want to squeeze it out. Do you know what actually I think might make me cry? It's I need to have a shower because I stink. We've not had hot water for two weeks. We bought this house and it's just shit. It just doesn't work. It's actually not shit, I'm just in a shit mood. <laughs> the hot water isn't hot, but we kind of need to ask the plumber when he comes here in a week's time. So we're just like braving it for a week, but I'm basically like Wim Hoffing every day. And like, that's fine when you're in a good mood. But like right now, I think a Wim Hof could send me over the edge. Maybe this will be good. Cause maybe once I get in that shower and it's freezing cold, I'll just cry. But at the same time, I really want to shave my legs. So I think maybe that will bring some kind of dopamine. So my room is a mess right now, let me show you. And um, on the floor right here is a um, thing that I've been sent from a PR package. And I just thought to myself, mid me recording this, Oh, maybe I should show off this parcel and I'm like babe it's not that kind of video this is not a PR unboxing video hi guys oh my god I can't believe I've been sent this by Erle Henriksen thank you so much they're now available at Cult Beauty to be fair I do shop at Cult Beauty I'm actually quite looking forward to using this because it's just no excitement I do mean what I'm saying I just haven't got any um I am actually quite excited to try this because right now my skin is a shambles I'm hoping something here is gonna do something on here and make it good I think I've been wearing the pants that I've got on right now for over 24 hours. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you after the shower. I tried to do that on the viewfinder. No, Holly. So this is the only bathroom that currently works. The only. We've got two bathrooms. This is the one that works at the minute. But when I say works, I mean that very loosely because this is what we have to use to turn the shower on. You can see this nice mouldy shower unit because it drips constantly. We actually had a plumber come around and we had a slight leak, like very, very small. We were like, oh, can you fix it? And he was like, yeah. this noise, like this like, clash happened. We were like, hello? And he's like, oh, sorry, mate. It's just broken. We were like, oh, can you fix it? And he was like, Oh, that would cost, the parts would cost about £300 and then obviously in my time it would cost about £400. We were like, oh, okay. So we just left that. So this is currently how I turn on the shower. Yes. 
one like is one wish that this will be hot. Hello, I've successfully managed to get a cry out. Luckily, my boyfriend came back and then I just cried to him. Maybe I just needed an audience, a real life one to get it out. The first thing I need to do is try and get this period to arrive because that's stressing me out. So I thought maybe if I wear a pair of pants that I wouldn't want to come on my period in, it will like reverse psychology into coming. I'm going to do some kind of excessive skincare routine, which is probably going to make my skin worse, but it's going to make my brain better. I just bought these tracksuit bottoms and Stradivarius. So again, I don't want to come my period in these. Hopefully these will bring it on too. I got a facial done for the second time ever actually by a proper like dermatologist. I was showing her these spots and she did this brilliant like 10 step thing. If you're in London, I'll include her information in the bio because I absolutely loved it. She's given me a code to give people 10% off. I don't think she knows I've got a YouTube so she doesn't know this is happening. What I liked about her, she was like, okay, send me all the products you've got back at home and then I will go through them and tell you which ones you should use. So she wasn't like trying to sell me one. She was like, tell me what you've got and then we'll work back from that. If she saw this video, she'd probably kill me because I'm about to just put a load of shit on my face just for the enjoyment of doing it. So first up, I'm going to put this Dermatica Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid because she did say the importance for helping my skin get back in the game was hydration. I don't know if LA Hemmings are going to please that they getting featured in a sad girl diary but there we go banana bright vitamin c serum she put a vitamin c serum on for me i can't quite remember what she said but she seemed to think they were good oh my god it's yellow I think I just rubbed a little bit of snot around my face there. <laughs> and then I've got the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream 24 Hour Light Daily Moisturiser. I had this a few years ago when I was at uni, which is random because I feel like it's quite expensive. I feel like for doing this has been really therapeutic. I would have just been still rotting in bed in tears, but now I might still be on the brink of tears, but I've had a shower, I've shaved my legs, I've put clothes on, and I've just done my skincare. Who knows what's going to happen next? Also, if you're wondering, I'm not watching the football. My boyfriend sat next to me while I'm recording this, watching it. Oh, it's rugby. Sorry, same thing. There might be a few bats in the cave, but you're just going to have to ignore that. And the fact that I look like a really budget version of like, you know, like David Beckham, he had those bangs. I look a bit like him right now. I'm feeling a bit better now. Right. Yeah. Oh, I've got no battery. Shit. Oh no, now my camera's not focusing. Oh, oh I thought I'd broken my camera, but I haven't. Okay, quick run through, because I've got no battery. It says it's going to die of what I've got. So we're going to have picky dinner. When I feel quite anxious, quite weird, I want to go back to like a childlike state. So this is the haul. This is not for me. A Spanish red pepper omelette. We've got some brie. That is a yes. I splashed out. I got the fancy hummus. Grapes, obviously. Pink lady apples. Anyone that eats anything other than pink ladies is absolutely a sicko. Some carrots. Oh, I've just seen one, one slip going through a little bit some celery which what i'm gonna do is get this philadelphia and put it in the little groove well nice it was a little bit artisan as well some corn sausage rolls and then rory's got some treats so and i also bought this weird drink that was on offer and it's like lime mojito and cacao it seems crazy but it was one pound 20 and it was talking to me because i was in like a spending mood because i was slightly down oh i forgot the main thing sorry and a big fat cookie dessert rory do you want some of this sausage roll That just went all over the floor to signal that. God, peeling's really satisfying. I need to show you what I got from Hobbycraft as well. I basically got some paints and some pads that I can draw on. I want to have like a country cottage scene above my bed in the bedroom. And I thought maybe I'll try and paint that myself. And then I might try and add like a little mean Rory in it as well to make it a bit more personalised. Oh my god, maybe I'll add my dog and my cat in it as well. That'd be sweet. I mean, this is definitely going to be a pipe dream. I'm going to work on it for like 20 minutes and never look at it again and still buy a print on Etsy. But, you know, the thoughts there. You probably don't need to watch me peel carrots in the next 20 minutes, so I'll come back when I've got some progress. I just need to forewarn you that the, the spread isn't giving influencer. I don't know why it's giving, but this is it. Bread. I like that the apple is already going brown. That's nice. One random burnt sausage roll. <laughs> and then this. And that omelette is just still giving me the ick. And that's all. Nice. Hi, Holly. From other future Holly. Me from the future. That was a really tough week. But actually, it all kind of got better. Um, I did need to cry. I also think I came on my period like the day after this. That helped. I've realised now having ADHD means I can't. If I just take a day lying in bed, which is ironic because I'm in bed, um, it doesn't actually help me. I need to keep my mind occupied. So if you're also got ADHD and you're like, why can't I not enjoy? 
enjoy my downtime it's because our brains aren't really wired for that our brain needs to be doing something now i'll play on my switch or i'll play sims i can't just lie and watch something i need to do something and it can't be doom scrolling as i'm just comparing myself to everyone now it's christmas time this was about a month ago and now i make sure that i have got things in place when i'm going to be relaxing i will be like doing a puzzle i'm not going to try and paint i don't know why i chose painting as an activity because i almost want everything to be productive and like even then i can hear me talking in the video and i'm like i'm gonna paint this scene no you're not holly you've not painted in years it's just hard for me to do things that don't have a purpose but actually my brain desperately needs things that don't have a purpose even when i make these videos now like there's a purpose to them because it's my job or there's a purpose because i want people to like me i don't know i want people to think i'm cool <laughs> I definitely don't want people to think I'm cool in this video. Final thing before I sign off, I've also recently done a podcast. So if you want to watch that, type in Holly Morris ADHD Chatter onto YouTube and you can watch that. And I go into more detail about like, my ADHD and everything and it was really fun. If you're still here, thanks for watching. And I'm going to try and do one a week of these videos next year. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, love ya. Bye.